what's up guys so this time we're going to learn how to create hvac legend okay so we're going to create a legend to show the hvac symbols used in our project and also we're going to add annotation symbols notes and model elements to the legend so let's say in this project you are working on a uh, project that is about to enter into the construction documentation phase so you want to prepare a legend to describe the symbols used in the HVAC plans so this legend should appear on all the HVAC plan sheets okay so let's do this so we're going to create a legend we're going to add annotation symbols notes and model elements okay so let's do this so let's go to the view tab and then let's create look for legend this one sorry this one Okay, so let's create a legend. Just click this one. So we're going to type in here the name. So let's say this is HVAC legend. Okay, so I'll be using the default scale. 1 is to 50. So I'll just select here. Okay. All right. So if you're going to go back to your project browser, you expand your views here, mechanical. And then there's your legend, by the way. That's the one. Okay, so we are now on the legend view. So to start, we're going to add the text. So let's use the text tool here. So let's click this. And then after that, let's check the properties. Okay, so there's the properties. So we are currently using here 2.5. So let's say, for example, I want a 5 mm aerial. So we don't have 5 mm aerial here. So that's why I'm going to select here edit type to open up the type properties okay and then we're going to duplicate this to create a new type let's change the name so I'm gonna call this uh, 5mm Arial and then I'll just select here OK and then I want to change the text size here obviously because this is 5mm so just type 5 and then I want that to be uh, bold and underline this one okay and then i'll just select here okay all right so i'm now ready to create my text or my legend title so from the text here so make sure no leader is selected we don't need any leader on our title so i'm gonna pick here just zoom in and then just type hvac legend and then just click outside so once you're done there you go and then just select here modify so when you create legend, so you, you really need to create it manually, okay, really manual. Like you create the text and then you put one by one the uh, elements or annotation symbols or model elements in your uh, legend view. So after you put in the text, so let us now add some legend components. So let's go to the annotate tab and then look for the detail panel. You can see the component drop down here. Let's look for legend component. So let's click this. Okay, and then I'll be adding here. I'm going to look for air terminal. And then let's look for supply. M supply like this one, 250 neck. Let's click that and then let's place it here. So that's the first one. And then I also want to add... Uh, return diffuser so do not terminate your legend component so click the drop down arrow and then let's look for return diffuser i'll use this one 600 by 600 face 300 by 300 connection so click that and then let's place one here there you go and then let's click the drop down arrow and then let's look for um, exhaust grill this one this one 600 by 600 face 300 by 300 connection so click that and then we're going to place another one here there you go and then we're going to add a side wall type so let's look for air terminals and supply diffuser side wall 450 by 200 so let's click that and then we're going to place it here there you go so now the next thing that we will be doing here is we're going to add another uh, 
element but this time we are gonna use here uh, detail component so instead of legend component so this time let's use a uh, detail component so let's click this one and then from the type selector okay the component that I need here is not loaded okay so let me just select modify so I'll just go to the symbol here and then I click the symbol and then from the type selector I'm gonna look for M diffuser tag type name okay so this one that's the symbol and then I'll just place one here okay and then I'll just select your modify so that's it now the next thing that we'll be doing is we're going to add text okay so that when our uh, client or the other stakeholders in the project so they will know what are these symbols called so we are going to add some text so let's click some text here and then let's look for 2.5 type 2.5 burial and then again no leader and then let's put here there you go so this will gonna be my all caps supply diffuser okay and then just click outside that's it then I'm gonna place another one here so this will gonna be my return diffuser and this is my exhaust grill and then this is my uh, sidewall uh, supply diffuser and then this will gonna be my uh, diffuser tag and then just click outside and there you go okay so now the next thing that I'll be doing I'm gonna add an annotation to this uh, diffuser tag symbol so I'll be using again uh, 2.5 okay still 2.5 text this is 2.5 but this time I'll be adding here a leader line two segments so let's use this and then I'm gonna place my leader at the top right click that one and then we are now ready to place it so I'm going to pick here as my first point pick another point here pick another point and then here so this will gonna be my diffuser type designation and then just click outside that's it click that one and then we can click that blue node to compress it and then let me just align that to the right Okay, so middle and then align right there you go and then let me put another text same align right middle uh, double leader or two segments then I'm not going to pick here point to this one here okay so this will gonna be my diffuser size enter example this is uh, 600 by 600 diffuser with a 300 uh, mm diameter neck so I guess you get the idea so we are just trying to put some uh, details to our legend here okay and then let's add this is the air quantity so let me put another text this is here and here to here so that's the air uh, quantity quantity there you go 
air quantity all right so basically this is now our legend so now the next thing that we will be doing like what i have said you really need to make this manual so after we place the components the elements and then some tags so we are going to create the boundaries so to create the boundaries let's go to the annotate here let's create a detail line okay so for the detail line <clears throat> i'll be using here the line style wide wide lines and then i'll be creating a rectangle rectangle just like that there you go and then we can actually adjust these symbols we can use the the arrow on our keyboard to move our elements just like that and then we can also select oops can also select all the ticks and then we can uh, move it there just to make it smaller Okay, and then this to one. Okay, so that's basically the boundary. So let's include the title. And then I'm going to create another detail lines, but this time I'll be changing the line style to medium lines. And then I'm gonna put here, escape, and then let me just put it at somewhere at the center okay and then line again detail line medium lines and then let's create divider here okay and then let us put some lines that will divide our symbols so it's really manual this is how you create your legend so you just you just need to deal with this one you just really need to make it super manual okay just tidy up make it look beautiful okay something like that here and that's it so that's now my legend so your legend you can actually insert this into multiple sheets like for example if i go to my sheets here so let's say i'll create a sheet here so right click i'll create a new sheet so i'll be using a zero metric okay and then i'll be creating another one so right click new sheet okay so as you can see i have here two sheets so i can drag and drop my legend so just drag and drop your legend like that and then you can put it here and you can again place it to another sheet like that and then you can place it again there okay there you go so unlike the view we're in you can only place the view inside the sheet one time so like for example this one here level 1 HVAC piping plan so I can drag that into this view right for example this is this is the floor plan right so if I'm going to open up another sheet and then I want to put that again so as you can see there is color blue meaning to say this is already inserted inside the sheet this is already inserted in, inside the sheet that's why it's colored blue but uh, the difference between the floor plan section 3d view or elevation view from the legend is that those views compared to legend you can only insert those views one time inside the sheet so like this one if i'm gonna try that to insert again you will not be able to do that so what you do is just like what they are saying here so you need to duplicate your view in order for you to insert that floor plan again okay but if you're going to insert the same floor plan inside another sheet you will not be able to do that so you need to duplicate that by right clicking duplicate okay and then maybe you just change the name and then go back to the sheet where you want that to be inserted so just insert just like that right so that's how you insert your floor plan and that's the difference between the floor plan the 3d view section view elevation view from your uh, legend your legend you can insert that multiple times inside your uh, sheet okay 
So that's it for this uh, simple exercise. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.